Hi, I am Jimin from We Learn to Share, and in today's video, I'll be summarizing the second part of Unit 5 in AP Human Geography. What is the difference between extensive and intensive agriculture? Extensive agriculture is agriculture that requires a lot of land, low labors of low levels of labor and low levels of capital. Therefore, it is usually done in areas where land is cheap and can be done far from people as it requires low levels of labor. On the other hand, intensive agriculture is agriculture that requires a smaller amount of land, high levels of labor, and high levels of capital. Therefore, it can be conducted in areas where land is slightly expensive as it does not require a large amount of land and it needs to be done close to a labor supply. What is commercial agriculture? Unlike subsistence agriculture, wherein small smicks Small-scale farmers grow food crops to meet the needs of themselves and their families. Commercial agriculture is large-scale farming for sale and distribution. In many cases, large-scale commercial agriculture revolves around monocropping, which is the practice of growing one crop or raising one type of livestock that is profitable. There are many steps involved in food production, particularly in commercial agriculture. In most cases, the first step of commercial agriculture is growing food, including planting and harvesting. Then the food has to be processed, in other words, packaged. During this process, agriculture products can turn into value-added crops, which, involved a which involve a change in the physical status of the crop in an effort to increase value. Lastly, the food will be sold in the market. This entire system is known as the supply chain, also known as the system of growing, processing, and selling food. One important thing to note is that when companies own various aspects of the supply chain, their overall their overall cost goes down. If the company owns various aspects of the supply chain, they do not need to pay as much to move the agriculture products from one step to another, meaning that there is easier transition from one step to another, resulting in lower costs and increased profits. A vocab term that is relevant to this concept is economy of scale, which is the costs advantages that companies have from their size. What is the von Tunen model? The von Tunen model is a model that illustrates where different types of agriculture are located relative to where people live. In the first ring shown in the picture, the market for the agriculture products will be located. However, recently, as a result of urban farming, there have been practices of producing and distributing food within cities. The second ring would have intensive agriculture as a as land closer to the city would be more expensive and since intensive farming requires high levels of labor it has to be located near where people live. Additionally, because intensive agriculture products involve perishable items such as fruits and dairy products, it is ideal to have it located near the market in order to have the items quickly transported. As you can see in the picture, the third ring is the forest, which is used as a building material. Furthermore, since timber is routinely needed by people, it has to be close to the market. Ring 4 has extensive agriculture as land is cheap, which allows extensive agriculture practices to be profitable despite its high demand for land. Moreover, it does not require a lot of labor, which is why it can be located far from where people live. Lastly, Ring 5 involves ranching as it needs the most amount of land, least amount of labor, and least amount of capital. Additionally, in the case of the location of agriculture, transportation cost is a big factor. 
To explain if the location is closer to the city, the land may be more expensive. However, since it's closer to the market, the transportation cost could be lower. On the other hand, if the agriculture is located further from the city, the land may be cheaper, but the transportation cost could be higher as it would be far from the market. So why is land closer to the city more expensive? One theory that explains this is the bid-rent theory. According to the bid-rent theory, people will compete for desirable land closer to the city center, therefore driving up their prices. To explain as more people demand for land closer to the city, the price of land will increase. What are some political policies relevant to agriculture? Recently, there, have been, there has been a move towards fair trade agreements, which is a movement designed to promote higher income for producers and more sustainable practices in developing countries. In addition, subsidies are given to farmers by governments, which is the money given by governments to farmers to supplement income. Oftentimes, the government would give money to farmers for them to produce more of an agricultural product since as the supply of the product increases, it will decrease the cost of the product, eventually leading to a decrease in the profit that the farmers get. Another essential factor for agriculture is infrastructure, such as roads, bridges, ports, and telecommunication, which is required for efficient movement of goods. Lastly, political relationships are also crucial for food distribution networks. They may get disrupted if countries are not able to maintain good relations. This would be the end of today's video, and I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.